Welcome back to the Amazing M channel. I am Brother T Roy. As always, thank you for coming out watching videos with me. Today we're gonna get into my one of my new favorite comedians. This is Doug Stanhope, and his topic today is about Jews. So we know Doug can go all over with his topics and subjects, and a lot of them are very creative and funny. So let's see what he gotta say about this. I, didn't, I, I wrote this uh, bunch of Jew hating stuff. I didn't intend to. I was over in Scotland. For, every year in August in Edinburgh, Scotland, they have the Fringe Festival. It's the biggest arts festival in the world. It's a whole month long, and I'm there in August, and uh, some jackass writer for the uh, London Times, he's, trying to, he's writing a story about anti-Semitism at the Fringe. And they had found a review of mine from earlier in the festival, this anti-Semitic guy, and, he, and, and where I had been quoted out of context, like, oh, it, just a string of blurbs. He says shocking things like blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And one of the things I had said that he quoted was, I hate the Jews, <laughs> which sounds anti-Semitic. <laughs> so all of a sudden, I get thrown into his little piece of literature, and I had said it. I had said it, yeah, without question, but I had said it like in a happy, fun-loving, Jew-hating way. There's no animosity. I, it wasn't even a bit of mine. It was just some aside when I was rambling about, fucking Mel Gibson was in the news at that time, and I'm rambling about him being called anti-Semitic, going, why is he getting so much press? He's an actor. Who gives a fuck what he thinks? I need press. I hate the Jews. Give me press. <laughs> and ironically, <laughs> bam, 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 banging on the door. It's a fucking funny story. If you know me, if you guys have known me for a while, I've been doing this 17 years, and I, I, I can fill three CDs worth of just the Christian bashing alone I've done over my career. I've done Mormon bashing and Muslim bashing. I'll do, I'll do more Scientology bashing once I have a stronger legal team, but... <laughs> But it wasn't, it wasn't until this phone call that I realized I've never done any Jew bashing in my whole career. All the religion bashing I've done, I never fuck with the Jews. I'm like, what? how did they ever escape? <laughs> and they do. They, you know, in religion bashing, Jews never get fucked with because, A, they don't have the aggressive recruiting policies that other... Religions do. They don't have billboards every 30 feet. They're, Be a Jew or burning hell. Jew God is watching you. They're not banging on your fucking door with pamphlets. We want to talk to you about Judaism. <laughs> so they don't get shit for that. They don't get shit because they have that Holocaust sympathy they can surf on for another 15 years till the last survivor dies or till. History Channel goes out of business. But... <laughs> and, and the Jews, to their credit, they don't have the history of atrocities that other religions have. They don't, because they fucking lost all the time. Sorry. Right? But they don't, yeah. They, they, they're not like, you know, the Muslims and Catholics. Like, I've heard so many comics doing bits about this new pope. Oh, isn't it scary this new pope used to be a Nazi? And you go, not when you look at that track record side by side. <laughs> the Nazis versus the Catholic Church? The Nazis only lasted a dozen years and they got their ass handed to them in a high hat. <laughs> Catholic Church has, been, has a far more prosperous and prestigious record than a real gangster. And torture and tyranny. One of the biggest gangsters out there. <laughs> nonsense. Not to mention the kid fucking, and they're still around, and more popular than ever. I'd be far more afraid to hear someone go, you know that new Nazi? He used to be a pope. <laughs> no shit? I'm fucking out of here. That guy's dangerous. <laughs>
So fuck the Jews. That's what I'm saying. I guess fuck the Jews. Just for being, I never said it over the course of my career, but fuck the Jews. Just for being a religion at all, you're as complicit as the rest in the retardation of human intellectual progress. Fuck you two. Fuck you. My brother's a Jew. My brother's a Jew, and I fucking fuck him too. I hate his guts for it. I'm like, hate, hate level, but fuck, what do you, do you think? He converted, because the only humorless cunt in his life that would ever fuck him twice, he had to cave in and marry him. Because he's afraid to die alone, but he, but he doesn't mind settling for less, and now they're together and in a passionless swamp of a relationship. <laughs> They teach their kids that shit. The, the, see, the parents wouldn't have him if he wasn't converted to Judaism because they're racist. And there's another reason to fuck the Jews. I don't like the racist. <laughs> fuck you two, Jew. You're not good enough if you're not a Jew. Fuck you. Everybody do that. Mostly I hate the Jews because they're wicked annoying. Can we agree on that? We're <laughs> wicked annoying. That's a good Jewish <laughs> friend. Of all the religions I, I've been around, the Jews have a tendency to throw their Judaism into whatever conversation you're having. Like any topic, whatever the subject. Oh, that's funny because I'm a Jew. Oh, oh, what the, oh, I'm a typical <laughs> Jewish fun. mother. And I say I grew up Jewish, but my Jew family, I'm Jew, 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 Jew. That's all I got to say. Jew, Jew. Why, 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 why do you keep saying Jew? Why do you keep saying Jew? I'm at an airport bar with you. I have to talk to you, but can you stop reminding me that you're irrational in every third sentence? It's like, it's like people who are really into their astrological sign and they have to pitch that into whatever conversation you're having to define themselves. That's funny, I'm a Virgo. Here's my Virgo coming out again. You're gonna have to excuse me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. It's because I'm a Virgo. No, it's because you're a douchebag. And you've been busting my balls all day. There's yes. nothing to do with yes. your astrological sign or some alignment of the stars. It's because you're a shithead. And it's time for you to take individual responsibility for who you are. Don't act. <laughs> Like if your parents had fucked a month earlier, you'd be feeding me chili dogs and letting shit slide. <laughs> You're an asshole. Be who you are. I love this I'm dude. a Jew. We naturally carry a lot of guilt. It's a Jewish thing. No, it's a you thing. You that fucking in that chair. That's nothing to do with Judy. If you have guilt, maybe you're weak of character. Maybe you're fucking guilty of something. I don't know. Maybe you just stole that bottle of Jaeger out of my freezer. And you just had to, but it has nothing to do with some ancient tribe of blah, blah, blah. That is, that's not attached to your DNA, right? By the, by, the, by the same logic, we all come from apes. But I don't throw ape in every conversation. <laughs> Use ape to define myself. Use ape as an excuse to defecate in my thumbless mitt and then hurl it at you. Yeah, I'm sorry, did I, did I just splatter you with wet feces? I'm sorry, I have a very rich ape upbringing, a strong ape heritage. I, I'm an ape, 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 really worthless as an individual. Anybody, anybody who defines themselves solely on their their race or their religion yeah. or their nationality, if that's the first thing out of your mouth, well, what are you all about? Well, if that's the first thing on your MySpace page, well, I'm an Irish American boy, what the fuck is that? Who, well, you got nothing else. <laughs> A community college and something else, but you use that fucking trivia because you got nothing to say. <laughs> Useless. You have no choice. You have uh, no ch you have no choice on what you are when you were born. Your your two parents had sex and you came out what you came out as. You have no choice over that. So when people do that, I kind of agree with them when, if that's the first thing you lead with, I'm such a strong Catholic Irish and all this, dude, I don't need to know all that. I want to know you as a person, not 
all that other stuff. I can see you're Irish and probably possibly Catholic. I don't need to, to hear all that. Just be a good person when you're around me, and I'll judge you on that, on how you treat me and how I see you treat other people. That's all I can say, oh, this person, X, Y, and Z, because every time they're around me, I see how they interact, and when I see them interact with other people, I see how they get down there, too. So you have no choice on what you, you were born, and when you are born, all the adults and people around you are going to be pumping all this BS into your head, and you're too young to defend, <coughs> excuse me, you're too young to defend yourself, so you get downloaded with all your mom's insecurities, all your dad's insecurities, all that stuff get downloaded into the kid until the kid gets of age to say, I need to get to my agenda. My mom, dad, brothers and sisters got their agenda. I need to get to my agenda, what works best for me, because what works best for me may not work best for them. And you can listen to all of what they say because it may be a hint of truth in there, but go find out on your own if it's true. You just not liking somebody just because of their skin color or last name or where they were born or anything like that to me is ignorant because you haven't never even met the person to know if you like them or not. So um, I thought he was going to go a little bit more into the Jewish stuff, but he did just the right amount. And this guy's brain is just so fun to listen to. It's just so fun and refreshing, refreshing to listen to because I feel he's being really honest on stage. I really do feel that Doug is being honest on stage. He just puts everything into a com comedic form. And like I say, he's grown on me so much. He is definitely up in my top 10 of comedians now. I love the brain of Doug Stanhope and how he thinks on those off-center views. I like his off-center views because a lot of people don't have the balls enough to say the stuff that he says, and, and I'm glad he's a comedian that can do that. Well, this was a really good um, skit right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Come back and see me on the Amazing Them channel, and remember, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and request. And I will see you next time on The Amazing Now. Take care. You were put here to protect us.